Oh hey, it's Unga Bunga's cave! Awesome! Yeah, you remember this area, right? This is where I found the gate and I'm like, yeah, we can't go past here. We're back to the part of the level we explored in World 1. Hey, I want to learn a new move! I don't have an attack button, I just have a roar. <laughs> That's all you need as a T-Rex? No, it's not! I want to bite enemies. Rah! I am Mighty Dinosaur, fear me! Oh, that's right, the Unga Bunga woke up. I'm actually not sure what happens if you wander in here without going here from World 1. Humba magic not work if you go through there. Only bear and bird can leave. Yeah, that would take us back to the Maya, Maya Hem Temple. Oh, I guess T-Rexes can get hurt by fire. I thought the T-Rexes were invincible. That's another gate that's unlocked that blocks you out of the rest of World 5 if you come here early. This is lame. I want to eat someone. I mean, I know as a T-Rex, I'm just a baby, but still. <laughs> There's a tiny little gap there, but I'm too fat. I'm only a baby T-Rex, but I'm still too fat to go through there. Alright, fine. Ungabunga's cave had nothing. Hey, bro! I'm a friendly dinosaur! What gives? I overheard you saying you wanted to eat someone. Yes, yeah, someone, not another dinosaur. I want to eat one of those rock nut tribe guys. Alright, well, we can't do anything in Ungabunga's cave from that side, anyways. Hey, it's a rocket driver! Rawr, psh, ouch! <laughs> stupid jerk, stupid jerk, stupid jerk. We can hop across these plat- We can hop across these platforms. Thankfully, I didn't fall off that slope. Collect some notes. And this is as high up as we can go as a baby dinosaur. Oh, hey! There's a jiggy here behind a gate. Only when the secret code of the dinosaurs is heard will this jiggy be yours. So remember the sign we read in the upper part of the mountain? That's uh, the roar pattern. That's what we have to do here. So it's small roar, small roar, big roar, small roar, followed by two big roars. Do it around that gate and it'll open up. And bada bing bada boom, we get our first jiggy. This is where jiggies are getting very difficult to come by. I'm king of the world! Baby T-Rex don't take fall damage. Baby T-Rex gonna do what he wants. Ra ra ra! Give me the meat! Can we eat this guy? No. He's a manly man. Ha ha ha, that feeble roar, me not scared. Can I at least go and pay the Oogle Boogles a visit? They seem like pretty cool guys, they want to share Pterodactyl Land. They've been watching Sesame Street, come on bro! Can you take me as a pet? I'm pretty cute. Gosh. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. If I saw a little baby banjo dinosaur, I would totally keep him as a pet. Even though I would probably die. Oh yeah, we never actually did walk up all this way, did we? I guess we can go higher up the mountain than we could <laughs> otherwise. Guess what? This also leads to Unkabunga's tribe. Hey man, what's up? You seem okay. Me let you in. Oh man! <laughs> He's totally chill with having a pet baby T-Rex. I like this guy. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> He's the bodyguard. <laughs> Thanks, bro! <laughs> Thanks, you, you want me as a pet? I'm very cuddly. Now we can press this switch and that opens the other gate that connects us to this part of the cave. Sweet. Gosh, I love baby T-Rex. He's so cute. 
Oh wait, does that lead up? But I thought this way led up. Oh, that just leads up over towards the water. Oh, this is like the back part of the mountain. Yeah, that's where we found the globo. Okay, never mind. I know where I am. This is one of those courses I don't know as well as some of the others. <clears throat> okay, we can't jump that high. Rawr! No! Rawr! Rats. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do as the baby T-Rex, as sad as it is. As much fun as this transformation is, uh, yeah. That's it for baby T-Rex. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable, though. How could anyone not love that? Aww. Bye, baby T-Rex. You're the cutest transformation by far. Alright. Well, as much fun as that is, that's the way it goes with the transformations in this game. You don't play as them for very long. Alright. At this point, I think we can turn and in, turn into. I think at this point we can elicit, uh, solicit Mumbo for some help. I believe there are free Mumbo pads. And we can now activate all of them. Oh boy, feathers. I didn't mean to burn you, Mumbo. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We've got a Globo! Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yes, please! Sure, we need all the help we can get! Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Pull up your pants and get your magic wand, kids. Because oh. Mumbo is in town. And we know what Mumbo likes doing. Dancing on pads with his face on them. You know, I don't judge. I mean, actually, I 100% do judge, but... Eh. This is one of those harmless things that I don't really care about. <laughs> Youch! <laughs> you did that on purpose. Me too busy pulling up pants. Alright. This is Mumbo's power for the world. Hope this works. Enlarge stepping stones. So Mumbo's power in this wor world is he can make stuff bigger. So here he's gonna make these stepping stones bigger just so we don't have to use the waiting step boots to get across all the time. It also means that now Mumbo himself can cross. But we don't need Mumbo to cross, we've got warp pads. Hey buddy, I see you there. Alright, next up we're gonna go to Wumba's wigwam. Now, Mumbo's not welcome there, but there's a Mumble Pad right here. And this is where fiends get fun. Hope this works. Enlarge Wumba's Wigwam. <laughs> the rivalry between them is so big that they've started a prank roar. A, pr a prank war. Mumbo starts it by making Wumba's Wigwam grow massive. It's one of those harmless pranks that's actually helpful for her. <laughs> now she has more, more real estate. Look at how big that is now, though. Now, unlike other Mumbo Pads, this one does not disappear. Most of the time when you use a Mumbo Pad, it'll disappear after you use it once. The Golden Goliath statue was an exception because you might have to summon it multiple times. This is also an exception. If you reuse it again, we'll shrink it back to its normal size. But this is just a kind of fun little thing we can do. We go in, oh my gosh. Even Wumba grew. Funny. She's just like, I know what you did, Mumbo. I hate you. <laughs> Big heap much. <laughs> Alright, and the other thing we have to do now is there was a Mumbo pad in the Styrocosaurus family home. There was the really tiny dinosaur. Yeah, we gotta use Mumbo to make him grow big. There's just one little eensy tiny little problem with this. And the problem is with the path. The, the cave is up here, but for some reason, Mumbo is unable to go up a 25 degree incline. He's just like, oh no, me slide down. Like, are you serious, Mumbo? For realsies? 
yes, for realsies. So we actually can't go up that way. So that poses a bit of a problem. There's also too much tricky platforming that's needed over this area in order to get Mumbo up there. So what can we do? Well, hey, can you let me in, bro? Sorry, but there is no way you are coming in here. You suck. People hate Mumbo for some reason. Can I go into Ungabunga's cave? I know he is an Ungabunga, but... Mumbo seems pretty cool, right? Come on, let him in, man, let him in. Oh, sweet. I'm cool. I'm cool. Now, Mumbo has a skull in each world. So if we go back to the Mayahem temple... <laughs> Can we visit Mumbo's skull as Mumbo, and will he be sleeping there? Oh, Mumbo not want to leave this world. Nasty men would loot skull. Man, people do hate Mumbo. People are very mean to Mumbo in this game. Not Banjo and Kazooie, but the random NPCs. Me, Unka Bunka, you seem okay. Oh, thanks, man! <laughs> Look at this guy. Wait, hang on. A selfie. <laughs> Look at this guy. He and me are buds, right? <laughs> Ungabunga seems like a pretty chill guy. He's like the leader of the Ungabunga tribe, so. He seems like a pretty cool guy. I, I could be friends with him. Now, I'm not sure if this is what the game intends for you to do to enter the Styrocosaurus family home, but. What you can do is, when you're above the cave, hang on. When you're above the cave... Oh, that must have hurt. You can land on top of it from above. Take fall damage and go inside. I think you probably are supposed to deal with the platforming on that side and then walk on that ledge, but forget that. Take uh, that. Mumble needs honey. Hope this works. Enlarge small Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus, sorry. Wanna be bigger than you were before? You got it. Can you do that on me like ten more times? <laughs> Thanks for beefing up my small child. Perhaps he'll find a girlfriend now. <laughs> Wow, Mom! <laughs> he still looks pretty young. Oh, get out of my basement already. Well, hey, I'm so big and all the girls want to go out with me. That's fast? Wow, that's all girls want, apparently. If you're tall, girls like that, apparently. Being six foot two myself, I have not necessarily found that to be the case. But also, I haven't gone out... <laughs> I have not also gone out of my way trying to find girls to date, so... Maybe that had played some role. I also just... I realized that we've... We completely ignored this part of the level over here. There's a set of... Uh, there's a rock nut. He's in jail now. He's like... <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> he caught me through the jail cell. How does that work? Also, he's laughing at me. Bro, you're the one in jail. Oh, hey, there's a green Jin. That's the last green Jinjo. Because that's a real one. And there's a bunch of small holes. There's a little, like, clockwork kazooie maze you can go through over there. Actually, wait, no. I don't think Mumbo can go up this way. I think Mumbo... Oh, so... Oh, you know, you... Okay, so what the game wants you to do is take the long way around the mountain. Go through the tunnel over there walk on the ledge. But no, I'm way too lazy for that. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do a blind jump from above and land on the skull. I mean, those dinosaurs are such cheapskates. They don't actually drop honey for you. Man! You kidding? Alright, back to Mumbo's skull. Skull? Yes. 
it's been fun, Mumbo, but you've done, you've accomplished what you needed to. You danced on your free pads, and that's okay. That's all we wanted. Sorry, but then's the breaks. All right. Now, first thing we're going to do now that we're back to being Banjo and Kazooie is we're going to go pay a uh, giant Humba Wumba a visit. The Wigwam is bigger, Humba Wumba herself is bigger, but there's another thing that's going to get a whole lot bigger as a result. It's the Wumba Pool and the Wumba Magic related to the pool. And we're about to get my all-time favorite transformation of this game, even more than the van. Wumba call this Daddy T-Rex. Use control stick to move and B to make much noise. We are a full-size T-Rex! <laughs> and we are completely invincible in this form. We are gigantic. And even if we can't attack, our me us merely touching something is enough to kill them. Roar! Hear me roar! <laughs> yes! Yes! Daddy T-Rex means business! <laughs> Roar! Now unfortunately, Daddy T-Rex is so big, he can't explore most of the course. But it's okay, why do you need to explore most of the course? When you could have so much fun at the base of it! Ay, that's scary! We must go and change Lloyd Claw! He was just saying hi. He was like, oh hey, it's I know this guy, Uncle Bunga, I'm friends with him. Hi! Hi! That's that's really what the daddy T-Rex is just saying. He's just very enthusiastic. Now if I found if I found Daddy T-Rex just hanging around, I would not adopt him as a pet, because I have a rule of thumb. Never take an animal as a pet that could kill you if it wanted to. This is why house cats are great. House cats would definitely kill you if they could, but they can't. <laughs> and so, they are like, oh, whatever, they have great personalities. That's why I, I contend one of the most terrifying animals is a, like, really big cat. Like a leopard or a tiger. Just because it's like, imagine how dangerous your house cat would be if you were bigger. Huh? No, I stepped on the train switch. <laughs> yeah, that's the train switch. I think you're supposed to do that as Banjo Kazooie, how that's why it's so small, but Daddy T Rex just brushed his big toe against it and boom, pressed down forever. Rats, we can't actually go up there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was expecting his mouth to open a little while, wider. Oh, hang on. Let's get the proper lighting. Oh, oh, no, that's good, that's good. So camera zoom in a bit. Yes. Smile for the camera! Okay, let's go one more head on. Alright, that's good. One of those can be a great thumbnail. And Daddy T-Rex is big enough to actually push that switch down. Problem is, that switch is on a timer, and it'll only lasts for 35 seconds, so we've got to hurry back to Wumba's wigwam, change back, and go into that jail cell. And rescue that Jinjo who's locked up in there. Man, everybody's in jail in this world. It's a little disconcerting. Oh, bye, Daddy T-Rex. Yeah, that is literally the only thing you need Daddy- The only two things you need Daddy T-Rex are for are scaring away the Unkabunga bodyguard, and for pushing that switch and hurrying over to it. <laughs> I wish you could be Daddy T-Rex for longer. I wish he had more uses. Second round, Jinjo. You are fine. 